Okay, storm chasing day. First proper storm setup of the year. Um, we're into mid-May and we have a very good setup today. I'm actually parked at the moment out the Cookstown to Omer Road. Uh, not far from the Sparrows. Just waiting on developments. The radar was showing showers below the border. Red and white cores coming up to the general Oma and Mid Ulster area. So I'm out here just getting a visual on the sky early in the day. The time is just around 1400. I uh, have quite a good setup. All the all the, the forecasters are going for storms today. Uh, we had a heavy rain last night. Uh, plume type setup, elevated, came through and behind it in the wake of the front there's a very unstable air mass. Very uh, humid, moist air mass. So there's a lot of juice in the atmosphere. Uh, the cloud has broke, the sun is breaking through, the temperatures are rising. I'm reading 17, 18 degrees here in the van, but the temperatures are meant to get around 20 degrees. If they do, storms should form. There's almost 1,000 kilojoules of cape a day, and lifted index of minus 4. And also we have a, wind, a deep layer shear in the range of 30 knots, and then by the time we get to 1800 it will increase to 40 knots. So that shear is sufficient for multi-cell development, so strong, strong cells and perhaps even supercell traits. Not actual supercell storms, but supercell traits where the updraft tilts over sufficiently to organize the cell and maybe see some elongation on the radar so it is organized. So we have a lot of good traits coming together today. At the minute uh, I, I kind of got lured out of the house by the radar and by the sky. Visually the sky is really really talking today. Around midday there we'd flat low stratus over Cookstown after the front cleared and within half an hour that stratus just went vertical and the clouds were lifting up forming into towers, we got towers everywhere all, all around us here, some of them pretty big, very sturdy, nice low bases and I actually see the towers leaning already with the shear only thing is the tops of the towers are quite warm at the moment, they seem to be struggling against a cap so we're hoping that cap will break pretty soon so anyway, I was just taking a few test shots of the sky can't really see much in here, we're in park there's a lot of convection moving in on basis I see a shower in the distance, precip breaking out so I'm out early because I like watching the cells develop and watching young bases in case there's funnel clouds or anything like that there so we'll see how this develops later on. A bit of luck we'll get our storms in the Middle Ulster area this afternoon and evening so I'll keep you posted. Rhea. Rhea. Rhea's my storm chasing partner today, aren't you Rhea? Good girl. Aye. Good girl. You love storms? Okay, it's now five past three. Uh, that cell I watched coming in with the precip on it actually was very good. It hasn't rumbled yet. I got a call from John Fagan, he's looking at the back end of it and saying it's massive and it looks good on radar. Uh, actually seen rotation in the front edge of it and an updraft base formed on the left side of the precip core. It was very obvious that the updraft was tilted over. There was a base separated from the updraft, uh, definitely a, a strongly sheared cell. And it looks pretty good. It's a bit more outflowy now, a bit shelfy looking. But it uh, definitely is talking, it's a good cell. And I had that distinct supercell trait of the tilted updraft, so definitely organised. I got a few shots there over the nice marshland there in the Omer Road. So, Connor rang me earlier there too, he's watching radar. Nigel's watching radar, and John's just back from work, he's heading out in the road soon. There's the precip hitting now. So, I think I'm going to stay ahead of this. Uh, see, I put this window down. It's no more outflowy now than it was earlier. It's a big line, ver, like a southwest northeast line. And then I got plenty more convection coming up and all around me too. So the plan is I'm gonna stay ahead of this one, keep an eye on it. Wait for new developments. And then uh, maybe hit the Sparrows or Loch Nay later. Here we go.
go just out of the core now. Trying to stay ahead of this line is very difficult. The rain's just breaking it everywhere and it's really heavy. But uh, I'm going to see if there's any structure left at the front end of it and then trying to get new developments. I'm hoping the outflow from this will actually develop other convection in the local area. Lovely convection coming up in front of me now as I'm facing southeast. Okay, this cell is right behind me. It's racing and it's actually quite fast moving. The sky is looking good. I need to get ahead of it and get a good vantage point. Not sure where I'm going to go, to be honest. All right, Brian, my dog here is starting to get a bit frantic. It's all right, pet. GoPro, I can't twist it around and look to the right as I'm driving. That cell has got a looks like it's forming a shelf cloud the leading edge of it. Uh, but I'm in a bad road network here because there's a lot of trees and all in the way blocking my shots. I uh, just got a glimpse of the cell behind me, looks very mean. The, the convection in front of me looks class too. This is going to turn out to be a good day, Ria. I'm, not, I'm talking to my dog here. I'm trying to get ahead of this storm. It definitely looks like a storm now, huge shelf on it. The actual precipitation core looks green. Yes, I'd love to get the drone up, but I need to get ahead of it. <laughs> so I'm doing I'm doing as fast as I can, 60 in the main kickstand over road here. Definitely a good sale now, that's for sure. So it's now uh, 10 to 4, massive storm cell up the Omer Road, I've been chasing it, trying to get ahead of it, it's turned into a big line, stunning black clouds, even the rain core looked green at one point, uh, getting lots of calls from my mates, I've seen rotation in two different areas, and now you're heading through Cookstown trying to get to the other side, the whole thing is going across the entire Sparrens, all the way down to the border, huge, there it is in front of me now in the middle of Cookstown, I'm just going to try to meet Connor somewhere but it's hard to know where to go. Uh, but uh, definitely a very impressive cell. Apparently extends the whole way down to the border. Okay, so I'm gonna head for the in here, make an hard decision. Yeah, that's about halfway to the cell to the halfway up now. Maharal would be a central point there. 